We're still under construction, as, as you can probably see with everything that's going on. Um, but we do have some cars that have arrived, and before people can ride on these, before they're, they're accepted and, and safe for travel for the general public, we have to do a, a substantial amount of testing. And that testing uh, is all of the systems, the various systems on the streetcar, uh, brakes, acceleration, even the air conditioner, the heater, all those different components have to be tested and it's it's a laborious process here and each car goes through it. Each car gets about 300 miles on it before anybody's allowed to get on it. And then also beyond that, the, uh, the track itself will be tested after we complete the loops. You'll see the cars out there running without passengers. Right, the streetcar operates in traffic. It's not in a dedicated right-of-way. So the Drivers will have to get used to how the streetcar operates and the, and the drivers will be trained on how to operate within the, the traffic. But then also people have to get used to how the, the streetcar arrives at the stops and how to board and, and how to disembark. And, and it'll just be a learning process. Embark is starting with that learning process through uh, websites and, and advertisements and, and things like that. So as you see the streetcar begin to roll out, you'll see more and more of this educational process. Kansas City just opened a system and uh, I know that, that Embark is working with them and, and seeing what lessons can be learned. Also Dallas has a system very similar to, to this so uh, they're, they're in communication with them to see what can be, uh, be learned from that.